Hello and welcome to AutoCAD. So in this lecture, we are going to create this beautiful pattern ball in SolidWorks and we are going to see the step by step process of how to create it. So let's just see. So for that, I'm going to start a new page and I'm going to select a part on it. And over here, I have to do the sweep first. So for the sweep, we all know that we require two things. The first one is a profile and the second one is the path. So what we are going to do, we are going to select the sketch and we are going to select a front plane. And here we are going to select the line that will going to be our profile. And we are going to give one value, which is 80 over here. And this will going to be our path and we are going to make it exit. Now for the profile, we are again going for the front plane and I'm going to select the sketch on it. Just create a line again and this will be our profile. Here the point is that we are going to get the open profile. That's because we are going to, we are not going to do this normal feature sweep. We are going to do the surfacing sweep. So here we require the open profile. So what we are going to do, we are going to select the surface and inside this surface, we are going to select the swept surface. For the profile, just select this as a profile and for the path, just select this as a path. If we are going to do it like this, it will going to create a random surface plane, but we are going to add some more things like in the option, we are going to make this as a twist. So what twist we are going to do, we are going to do in the revolution of 0 0.5. The moment you twist it, you can see that we have got the feature like this. So instead of creating a normal sweep, it will going to twist it with the revolution value of 0 0.5. Just make it okay. And this is what surface that we get. We have to thicken it to make it a body. So just click on this thicken. Just select the center thicken. Select the profile. Just make this value as 0 0.5. Just make it OK. And finally, we have got this body ready. Now we have to do some editing work over here. What we have to do for that, we have to just unhide uh, this path. And we have we require this path over here. Just select the right plane. Just select the sketch on it. And then I'm going to select a circle and this circle, since we have unhide, unhidden the line so we can get its center point from here to this part, we required a line like this. And what we are going to do now? Okay, so I think we have to select. Okay, so we have we have selected the wrong uh, path. Basically, we are going to delete it. We are going to select uh, the front plane. So just select the front plane. But before that, we have to create the axis. So how to create the axis over here? To create the axis, we are going for the axis geometry over here. And in that geometry, we are going to select uh, basically the origin as our axis and as the top plane over here. So the moment you select it, you can get the straight axis like this along this origin, taking the reference as top plane. Just make it OK. And now we are going to select the front plane instead of the top plane. So we have selected the right plane, sorry, eh, before, but now we are going to select the front plane. But before selecting the front plane, we have also made an axis over here that we required later on. So select the front plane, just create a sketch on it. Now, since we, we are going to create the same circle from the center like this, I think we haven't got the center. So just delete it, just make it normal. And let's just try it one more time. Just select the center of this line like this till this end point. And now what we have to do, we have to just create the feature like this. So what feature that I'm going to create, I'm going to create like this. So we are going to do the cut, evolved cut over here. So we have to trim out this portion. Just make this as construction, the center line. And this part and this part, we have to make it equal. Now just go for the exit over here. Just select the feature as the revolved cut. And you can see that once you have selected the revolved cut, you can just make it okay. And finally, we have got this feature ready. So nothing extra has been done. It has created a feature like this over here. And now what we are going to do, we are going to make it mirror. So just select the mirror tool over here. Just select the mirror as the right plane, I think the right plane is good. For the bodies, we have to select a complete body. And once we have selected this right plane, you can see that it will going to interact like this. Just make it okay. And here you just have to unmerge it. 
just select the unmerged solid just make it okay and now we have got this feature ready now what we have to do we have to go for the circular pattern over here just select the bodies just select this body and this body and for the direction we have to select this axis which is the axis that we have created and the instances will be 12 just make it okay and we have got this feature ready now the work is not over here since we have unmerged the body because if 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 we have selected the merge tick over here merge option there but it will going to create the error so we have to merge it now so for that we have to use the tool that is known as combine so this is a solid combine tool just make it okay just select the add over here and how to select the body here you have to select all the patterns first so select the first pattern press and hold the shift button select the last pattern it will going to select all the pattern at once then just select this mirror as well as this cut revolve so you have to select all the thing but you have to select the pattern first and then you have to select these two features then only it will going to create a perfect uh, combine otherwise it will going to show up you an error just make it okay just wait for some time because the feature is very tough to combine it so it is taking a little bit of time just wait for a little bit more and now you can see that they have been combined into a single body was if you are going to select this combine it will going to see the whole you could it will going to select the whole body at once and now we have to cut it we have to cut it so that it will going to create a hole inside this that for that we are again going to select the front plane i'm going to select a sketch on it and i'm going to create a circle like from taking this as a center taking this line that we have created uh, basically for the path i'm going to create a circle like this and then i'm going to create a semicircle basically just trim out this portion just make it okay just go for the exit just select a revolved cut since we have to cut it select this feature and for the axis we have to select the center line just make it okay and there we go this pattern is now being created you can see that now we can just color it colored it out so for that i'm going to select the appearance we can just color is as yellow just make it okay hide out this axis now it's not required so we have to hide it out hide out the sketch as well now our pattern is ready hide out this sketch and this also so finally we have created this pattern you can see that this is the pattern ball that we have created and how easily we have created it nothing complex thing that we have done so i hope that you have liked this video if you like this video then please do like press that like button and please do subscribe this channel for the updates like this we are going to bring you all this exercise exciting and amazing exercises on solidworks autocad and catia for you so see you inside the new video